Okay, it's uh, Kevin Griffin for Soul on Sound, live at Epping Forest Country Club. We've just pulled our way through about five million people. We've actually found a table, and I have with me, so the contrast, who are? Hi, I'm Kim. Hello, I'm Robin. And Delroy. Okay, so what have you been doing up to now then, before you started Total Contrast? Uh, basically we're all working on other various uh, individual projects and um, we basically met up in the studio on a session for somebody else and um, whilst they were waiting for a musician to come along we all just started to jam and basically that we found that we, you know, we created such a good vibe together that we wanted to form our own unit as it were and it took off from then and um, we got so much material together. I, I think we, no one's going anywhere right now. That's right, right. Yeah. And as a result the first baby was born which was um, Be With You Tonight. You were uh, quite involved with imagination? Well. We're involved in, with them in the sense that um, we know Lee John personally quite well. He gave us um, some good help and advice, more like direction as it were, on you know some of the material we've been writing and how we go about actually you know laying it down, you know studio technique. Experience really. Yeah, it's more the experience he's had, the fortunacy to have, you know. Um, and it's helped us quite a lot anyway. And actually fact on the track, you know, Errol, Errol um, did some drum overdubs. Um, I suppose that's about the only thing you could really say imagination did, you know. So what have you been doing um, recording wise lately? Is there an album in the pipeline or anything? Well, what's happened is, well, what's happened is in fact this week you've caught us, what we've been doing, we've taken a, we've been eating, sleeping, doing everything. We wake up in the morning, we're doing writing, we're spending seven days now, well, it's going to be seven days up until next week, doing writing and at the end of that we're going to put all the track the basic track down in the studio. So um, I think we've come up with, so far we've come up with four good ones that I could say, yeah, they're, they're going to be really rocking the discos in this, about June time. Well, we know you come from the UK, but uh, what respective parts of the UK do you all come from? You come from the same area? And two of us are from South London and Delroy's from North London. Did you um, go to a lot of clubs before you formed the band? Did you go to a lot of clubs when we used to do Disco people. Yeah. See, it, wasn't, it wasn't so much that. Um, I don't think we've ever had to rely on clubs, you know, to get our ideas or things like that from. I think within us we've got the inherent feel as it is for disco dance music. Um, you know, we just generally know what's going to be right for the club. If anything, we may lay tracks and then take them to the club. But I don't think we stand or sit in a club and yeah, say this and like that, that is doing yeah. the thing, you know, let's go away and do something. No, it doesn't work like that. Instrument wise, uh, who who plays what? Let's start with ladies first. Well, or do I you sing? I sing, yes. Yeah, yeah. All ladies sing. <laughs> right, well, I basically do the lead vocals and the keyboard work involved. Well, I do like I do all the bass work and but we we both do drums and so forth here and there and um, keyboards. So we, we get most well basically we get most of the track together ourselves and we get other people in to do specific things depending on what it is. Are there any uh, particular uh, US funk and soul artists that you've been particularly influenced by in, in the early days? Have you any heroes? Yes. <laughs> Um, I think our, our hero for the moment, for now, for last year, for maybe next year, is uh, a man called Kashif. We think it's not so much his music, it's the technique, the ideas, you know, the way he goes about things. They're just very... I mean, for us, they help make us spot on in actual fact. Uh, you know, we look to mentors like, you know, Aretha Franklin, Luther Vandross, Teddy Pendergrass. I mean, they're people who, vocally, they're a great influence in the sense that they make you want to do it, sing something good as well, especially because you know we're British and we feel we've got that potential to do something like that in actual fact. 